Good evening. Last week we actually looked at um, two catamarans that we're not interested in. This week we're looking at the uh, uh, Maverick 440, the South African built one, and the uh, Leopard 45. Let's see what is the, the results of that. So this is for dive cylinders? Yeah, both sides. Oh, this is cool. So both sides is dive cylinders? Or yeah. Only one side? Both sides. These are your strainers. These are your main fuel filter. Everything's good. Now anytime you're ready, it's fine. It's for major repairs. But it's not under a bed where you have to climb the bed and reach in. So you can reach all the way around. From the engine, the cooling system of the engine is actually doing the geyser. But it's quite high, right? This is the this is the place where you If you want to go out, so all the lines are coming here together. You've got two inches. Wow, look at this big screen. Okay. And all the lines is running like that. So you need to be on the outside. Boat before this, we had a camera mounted on the spreader, and then it shows on the screen the port side of the boat. Okay, okay. So you can see uh, actually where the edge of the boat is. Yeah, it comes with the spreader, and it has excellent weight carrying capacity. Uh, the boat itself is set up for uh, long term circumnavigation, so it's set up for long range cruising. So it has the most amount of water capacity, the most amount of diesel capacity, and carrying capacity of any catamaran in its size and its class. And you have your port winches, you know, it's your port sheets to port side and your starboard to starboard side. You can still sail single-handed because you can operate the electric winches from here. So if you need to, you know, uh, pull in a sheet on port side, you can take the sheet over the, the winch and then you can hold it in your hand here and you can do your maneuver and just release the other sheet here. So you, to moor or often with a catamaran, you at the T-bone. So this is your main access point and um, it's very easy to get on and off the boat. It's probably one of the best features and you don't see that dropping anchor and you can operate the anchor also from the helm of the train counter. And you can operate it, yeah, this is dark and up. Okay. And you have your windless car. Ah, there we go. And then you, here's your, um, your gas bottles. And they're also, they install a, a, they're going to install a dive compressor in here. And then the air to make it have any kind of and you can play with the layout. <laughs> and what, you, what you see in the galley here is this is a normal amount of storage space to start. And then there's a dishwasher. It's an appliance and also for long term. That's where there are four pieces like that. And then here you have the helm station that's quite connected to uh, the, the chart table. So um, sometimes people just have a desk out with the chair. So we're going into the owner's cabin. So you walk straight into the cabin. This looks spacious. So you yeah, not allowed to yeah. get onto the bed. Aside for the um, yeah, noise. The noise. And then, uh, here yeah, has a like a huge amount of storage space here, and then and under the floorboard as well. Uh, yeah, this is also storage here. There's storage underneath the seat here, and then here you've got four full-length uh, wardrobes. So that's a mm -hmm. you know you can configure this how you like. Though. You can. Now we've got a. Now it's getting packed. We're getting cramped into the space over the shower. Oh, this is oh. quite big. So you can yeah. st stand in there. Yeah. Mm. The it's shower on the port side has more headroom clearance. More than enough. Yeah. yeah We're going to have a good shower. Very nicely, yeah. 
uh, waste all the water, so we actually need a small shower. <laughs> and uh, well, for there. water saving, this is a nice feature. So if you want hot water, you switch on the hot water and you turn this tap. And because it always takes a little bit of while for hot water to get from your geyser to your tap. That's actually nice. Mm -hmm. And then there is uh, this is uh, your, your black water tank. And here, here is where you would put your water maker. So uh, all your filters and everything for mm. your water maker would go here. Yeah. So again, it's very easy to access. Mm. It's right mm. ergonomic height. And um, in this, yeah, yeah, the owner has put a, it's a, it's a six quick kilowatt generator. So the dinghy space is quite high. Agent compartment. Lots of winches and stuff here. And this one is coming from the the main sheet. So it's flash on front. And these are nice walkable ones. There's these little here. Looks like here is a Two big water tanks. Thank you, special. Looks sale. like two additional. No, not too small. Completely tucked away. <laughs> this is this. That is the remote. The remote. Wow. Okay, let's see it big. Fairly big. Okay, this is big. We will get here later. But this is the basically the forward cockpit. This is a massive roof. Very big. Very calm. And so if you sit here, you can actually see everything. Yes, some storage. Massive storage. Okay. Open it. Oh, it's funny. Yeah, it's. So this is the owner's version, so we cannot open all of it. Lots. But yeah, lots of storage. Lots Quite of beer deep. space. And this is another one. And it's pretty deep. It's very deep. Very nice, spacious over there. And from the front, this is the door leading out into the front front cockpit. Very nice front cockpit. So storage even there. Nice. There's the life side. jackets and stuff. On there. And the storage under this one. And the storage under this one. Trick system. Everything nicely labeled. A Victron. Oh, we're going to have Victron as well. Easily accessible. Yes. And a fusion radio system. Lots of plugs everywhere for storage. Wait, wait. Storage. I think it goes in storage. I think it goes in the radio. Nice cabin. Lots Very of good. Oh, Mr. Capitani. 
Maybe we I can like this. fit in here. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Capitani can do it. I can. It's not even here. <laughs> if the wind blows, you, you don't have to. But it's it's perfect. Good. I think it's More good. Than... Very good. Okay, this is a contemplated laundry we saw, area. Yeah, can we laundry? If we go to. Duplicate head. The same space. Yeah. Where's the end? Let's go to bed. Lots of lots of windows. You see a lot of windows. Yeah. So lots of watching. Oh, even two USB. Wow, we can charge lots of stuff. Okay. I think we sold on that point. Yeah, <laughs> let's buy this boat. So now you know <laughs> why we had to sell everything. So now you will see what is the options that we had to do because the Leopard had a lot of options, standard options that the factory is giving, but also a lot of aftermarket options, which most of the YouTube channels actually, <laughs> yeah, we did watch a lot of YouTube channels. So they, they, every time we see something new, we actually write it down, we take note about it, and we go and research what this is all about. 
So the next couple of episodes is going to become very nice and for me at least nice technical. We're going to de dig deep into the, the different options, electronics, radars, how do you connect to internet and all those things. Um, so keep on watching, get out our full screen, hit the like button and if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and see you next week. Support us on Patreon, like our pictures on Instagram and follow us on Facebook to become part of our social active experience.